Hello, hello everyone. My name is Bonnie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the Alcrate unboxing for January. So Alcrate is kind of a month behind in a way with their boxes. So their December box has been delayed, like hasn't been shipped at all because they were waiting on some missing items, but they had their January one. So rather than kind of leaving us in wait they went and sent the january one ahead so december is still pending but i'm just happy we have some kind of box going on since it's been a little bit of a stretch but yeah so excited to see what this month has in store i'm hoping my voice will be normal or normal enough sounding to film this but i am currently at the tail end of being sick with COVID, so if my voice sounds raspy or stuffy, that's why. Let's open her up. Okay. Okay. Na -na -na -na. Okay. Oof, that was stiff to open. Okay, we have our spoiler card here with the cute little doodle. Looks like hidden treasure in a cave or something like that. But I will be checking this out later for all the spoilery details of what items are and what they're inspired by. Ooh. Ooh, this is so exciting. Alcrate collectible ceramic bowl. Yeah, um, Alcrate announced that they will be doing a a series of ceramic mugs inspired by Lord of the Rings. So this is the start. Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow, it's stunning even through the bubble wrap, my god. It says Erebor with an X. And then super cool. The little owl on the bottom. But yeah, this is super cute. It's a really nice like size. Um for either use or just like storage like you could totally put like a bunch of hair ties in here or I don't know loose change if you have loose change or just I don't know I feel like whatever knickknacks you want to use it for if you don't want to use it as like a bowl you eat out of it'll fit a lot of stuff Ooh. just thought there was package Oh, okay. This is a, another series thing they are starting. They are doing um, monthly pins, but they are like kind of luggage tag ones. So I really think this is like a cute little envelope that it's in. And we have one inspired by Red London from A Darker Shade of Magic. So this one isn't really a surprise because they definitely posted it to their Instagram, but it is still really pretty. Although rather big for a pin, I feel like, but pretty nonetheless. Ooh, check me out. I can, I can store the pins in the bowl. <laughs> it works. Okay, guess I'll move. I hate this kind of stuffing, it's so messy. But if it's what they gotta do to protect the stuff, that's totally fine. Okay, we have a felt bag. It's kind of hard to see, but it is like a maroon color. Let's see what's in here. Oh, <laughs> hang on, it's still in there. It's still in there. Ooh, what's this say? May, May Arrow 
Why ya be with you, ten dinar? The Golden King. I will have to see what this is inspired by, but it has got a good heft to it, so you could definitely use this as like a paperweight, um, or like since these corners are kind of pointed, I feel like you could even like set it upright, maybe, or lean it. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Another thing to push in the bowl. This a pin flag. Okay, we got a compass banner thing. It's kind of tied, tied wrong. Like this to go up, that goes down. So I'll have to, I'll have to finagle that, but got a compass rose on it. Nice neutral color so that's pretty cool but how these strings are kind of cockeyed. Never mind okay just with a little tugging it is now evenly done so okay no more problems with that. Oh okay I see all right this is the Grishaverse inspired item. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so specifically Six of Crows since they have their motto and their crow there. And I believe this would be an outlined cityscape of Catterdam then. They even have like the Grishaverse tag on it. And yep, just saying it's official Grishaverse item with a zipper, oop, zipper pull. And the inside, very nice and spacious for whatever you want to use it for. Very cute. And I feel like either the cityscape or the back crow could both be just displayed nicely if you weren't planning on using it at that time or what, but super nice. We have a bookmark. It says make yourself a myth and live within it so that you belong to no one but yourself. And it's got little bits of foiling around it. And on the back it's just wood. So that's very pretty. Can't go wrong with a bookmark. Let me get it out. The Ivory Key by Akshaya Raymond. Okay, I have not heard of this. So let me take off the plastic wrap and read the synopsis. The spoiler card says that this book that's been selected is the first in an Indian-inspired fantasy duology, and in it, magic is a prized resource, and it's only thing, and the only thing between peace and war. When magic runs out, four strange royal siblings must find a new source before their country is swallowed by invading forces. Our signed first edition features an exclusive cover as well as a reversible dust jacket art created by artist Ariana Javeri. Javeri? Sorry. You'll also find an exclusive foil stamp on the hardcover case beneath the jacket. And the author also wrote an author letter to the subscribers. Oh, it sounds like a complicated family drama story that might have quite a few different shenanigans going on. Like if they get a hold of the key, who knows, they might break out into a fight, disagreements, that kind of stuff. Just sounds like some pretty big stakes. And we got a lot of praises on the back of the book. Let's see what it looks like. There's the signed page. 
underneath. Beautiful foil design and spine. And then under the dust jacket art. And then they have the spoiler card for February, which the theme is Among the Monsters. The sneak peek is every February box will include a set of bookends. That's exciting and tempting. Hmm. In their little booklet where they talk about everything that goes on in the box, they do have image here. This is the normal cover and then the color variation that Alcrate did, which I think the Alcrate one really pops and kind of gives off a really good vibe. So love that. And looking at the spoiler card, this bookmark is actually a wooden bookmark entirely, hence why it's got a wood design on the back of it. It fully is made out of wood and it is a quote from the Gilded Wolves by Shawnee Chokski, which I really enjoyed the audiobook of, I believe, last year. The spoiler card also specifies that the Erebor bowl is the Dwarven bowl, so that makes me think they're gonna do like, oh, Rivendell for the elves, etc, etc. I don't know if they'll do Rohan. Hmm. I mean, we'll just have to see, I guess, but that's really cool. And then the coin is inspired by We Hunt the Flame. And it says this dinar coin is designed to resemble the currency you'll find in the fictional kingdom of Arawaya. Okay, so unboxing done. And I will say, although I will say, although I haven't heard anything about this book, like I was unfamiliar with it prior to reading the synopsis, I am quite intrigued. Um, you know, any magical moment, gotta rescue, magic, anything along those lines are usually entertaining and something I'm willing to pick up. And I'm interested to see what fam- I'm interested to see what family dynamics happen in this one. I feel like in a lot of YA books I've read, it's definitely been like, there's one sibling. But with there being four siblings, I'm feeling like this will have a lot of different power dynamics, familial dynamics, so I'm intrigued to see what this one is like. And yeah, so not a book I expected to get, but I am intrigued nonetheless. And then I have to pick out my favorite item from the box, and although I do really like that wooden bookmark, I feel like it's very unique in comparison to probably the hundreds of bookmarks I have, I think my favorite item has to go to the Erebor Bowl. Um, I just think this is a really cute idea, and just... Like I was saying, it's a good size to fit whatever you want. So that'll about do it for this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know what item really piqued your interest. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you here for the next one. Bye.